So this morning we're going to show you um, our Eco Plus unit. As you can see, uh, what we've got is um, a mains water reservoir just here um, with the pump and pump controller sat on top. This is our control matic and this uh, decides when we send power to our pump and then our pump takes the water from one of two places. It either draws the water out of this mains water reservoir, which is filled just here, or by changing the position of this red three-way valve, we suck the water through our black and green pipe, which heads out to our underground tank, and we can draw the rainwater from there. This valve here is controlled by our float switch, which usually will be floating in this position, that then takes the power away from this red three-way valve and allows the pump to draw the water up and in and then out to the appliances. If we then drain the tank, the float switch drops down, the red three-way valve changes position, causing the pump to take the water from this reservoir here the water is then replenished by this mains water supply just there. The way the control matic works is you'll see that the unit's pressurized and it's not sending power to the pump. If we flush the toilet, you'll see that the pressure dropped and once the pressure drops to one bar, the controller then sends power to the pump and the pump then draws the water from the tank. Now, because the float switch is down at the moment, you can hear that we've got mains water flowing into here because the tank, the pump's taking the water from this tank here. If I lift the float switch up, this red three-way valve moves across This reservoir is now filled and we're now drawing the water from the underground tank. As soon as the controller recognises that there's no flow of water going through the pipework, it then shuts off the power to the pump. The pump then remains idle until we then drop the pressure and create a demand again. The pump will then run and if we just watch the uh, needle this time, we'll see that the pump is uh, running at just over three bar. Filling the toilet at the moment, taking the water through this pipe here out of the underground tank. And then once the toilet's filled, we'll see the uh, pressure just build up slightly, just there. And now the pump just runs on for a few more seconds while it detects that there's no flow of water and then shuts off. Round on the side of the control matic, you'll notice that we've got some uh, LEDs to show us the status of the control matic. You'll notice that as long as we've got power supply, then we've got a green LED next to the power. And whilst uh, the pump doesn't need to run, that's the only light we'll see. Now, if we create a demand by flushing a toilet or opening a tap, the pressure will drop on the control matic and that will then cause it to send power to the pump. Now, if for some reason the, there's a problem with the pump, if it can't draw the water out of the tank, or if there's an issue with the pump itself, then what we'll have is the control matic will notice that the pump hasn't started to run and you'll see that we get a red failure light on the control matic. You'll also notice that there's no pressure on the control matic pressure gauge. When you come to the control matic, you'll see that there's a red reset button at the top, and so it's always worth just trying that. You'll see that now, again, we've caused it to send power to the pump. This time the pumps run okay. And so we've got an amber light showing that we're sending power to the pump. 
Once the toilets are then filled and the pressures are built up and it's detected that there's no flow of water, we'll then see the amber light go off and just the green light. If we find that we haven't got water in the toilets and we can't flush them, we come to the unit and find that our pressure is down at zero and that we've got a red failure light on the LEDs on the side of the control matic. First thing we can do is just press the reset button. Now if we notice that the pump just makes a buzzing noise, then the most likely issue is with a capacitor failing within this casing here. Now the first thing to check would be if we can just take this cover off just here to expose the fan and we we'll just make sure that that turns freely and that the motor isn't actually stuck. Now if we press the reset button we'll hear the buzzing noise and the pump is trying to run and what we can do is just create the rotation of the motor by flicking the fan. You'll notice that actually now the pump is running quite happily. We've built up pressure and we are now pumping the water through to the toilets and the toilet systems are refilling. Now of course once we've pressurised and turned off the controller will detect that there's no flow, shut off the power to the pump. Because the capacitor's failed, of course, when we lose pressure and the pump tries to run again next time, again, you hear the buzzing noise. And it's only if we create the rotation that the pump can actually run. It's very simple to change the capacitor on this pump. So the first thing we would do is just turn off the power. We can undo the four screws on the top casing here and just remove the cover and then inside here this is the capacitor you'll notice that there are just some spade connectors which simply push on pop the capacitor back in there pop the cover back on and now when we take power to the pump runs again without fault.